Well, it's almost half past five in the morning and we're here at Mogam on the way to Alain. As you can see, they're currently blowing up the balloon behind us before we do the security talk and get the balloon up in the air. It's fair to say we're feeling a little bit tired and slightly nervous, if I'm honest as well. <laughs> Seems fairly straightforward enough so far. Well, the last set of people have just arrived and it looks like there's quite a large number of them here. A bit wondering how they're going to manage to fit all these people into the one balloon that was there, as you can see, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. The security talk is about to start, so let's see what they have to say. To eight knots take off wind, it's about eight knots, but we try to inflate, so let's see what will happen. Take some pictures. Hey, pull, guys, pull. Candy line, pull. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, there was a windy takeoff, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. That's right, okay. Right, so that was a nervous takeoff. It took about 10 minutes to get that up in the air, a little longer than I thought it would. And it seems I may have been wrong. There's a lot more space here than you'd think when you look at it from from down there. The problem with getting up was that it was too windy, but to be honest, now that you're up here, it's a completely different perspective. It seems so much more calm and serene, and the fears that you have initially when rising just seem to fade away. How high do we go, Captain? Yeah, up to 4,000 feet today. This depends always on the military permission, but today Captain Attila is the first pilot. He does all the communication, basically, with the airports, yeah? And so we simply have to follow Attila today, right? Yeah. So we've just been told we're going to rise up to about 4,000 feet, which is one ninth or one tenth of how high an aeroplane goes. So putting it into perspective, it's pretty high. But once again, it feels pretty calm and stable when you're when you're up here for some reason, completely different to the to the takeoff. And how we manage to rise is each time Captain Mike in the center there, he's surrounded by six large gas canisters, fires it up, and you can feel the force of the fire coming back. And that seems to, to rise it a just a, a tad more. We've just been told we're at about 3,200 feet now, which is going over the Burj Khalifa. Although it may just seem like a lot of sand, we've actually just been told we're flying over the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve, or DDCR. That's a national park set up by the government to try and protect wildlife and the nature you see here. We've actually just seen some oryxes go past and some gazelles as well. Well, the name of the balloon we're travelling in, we've just been told, is the Shaggy Bob Balloon because of Captain Mike's wonderful locks. But it's also a pretty special balloon, one of the biggest you can find in the world. 500,000 cubic feet is the size of the envelope we're in. And we've just been told as well that it's in the Guinness Book of World Records last year. Skydive Dubai, along with the Balloon Adventures, let 20 skydivers go out dropping from this very balloon here. So we're in a bit of history as well. We're getting ready to land now and we're descending quite low so you can almost, it feels like you can almost touch the sand now. That main road you see over there, we're just about to cross over there into Al Madam and then make our landing down there. Oh, right, here we go. It's actually traveling at quite a quick speed. All right, so get ready guys. Three, two, one. one. Touchdown! Oh! 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 That's definitely Rocky and Rowley for sure. <laughs> We're all on our back, so I think it's time to get out now and there's sand all over my face as well. <laughs> as you can see, people are coming out of the balloon. Looking back at the experience now, we've been gone for about 45 minutes, just under an hour, and quite a few things from, from the experience that I'm gonna take. First of all, the calm and serenity up there was just remarkable. 
in an aeroplane you're 10 times as higher but you don't have the openness which I think makes this experience a bit more a great deal more enjoyable and it's also far more humbling as well once you're up there you sort of realize just how inconsequential or how small you are all in all it's one been a certificate for the naughty boy uh, there we go and I'm, he survived the trip <laughs> and I, I have survived yeah thank you very much for a wonderful day and I've got a certificate to prove it so yeah all in all a humbling experience an experience which really opens your your mind up and shows you a side to the UAE which you really won't get to see anywhere else